I believe that our origin and our future culmination and our present happiness all can be secured, understood, illuminated, and expanded only if we're willing to look at our relationship not only to altered states of consciousness but to uh, the mind behind nature because that's really what this is all about. This study has changed everything in my life, everything. I am more patient. I am more thoughtful. I stop and I take the time. I am present. And I can be present all by myself and smile and say thank you. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I get to breathe another day. I get to feel, do you know I walk out and I put my feet in the grass and I feel that grass between my toes and I'm like, this is great. It, it's, it's just those little tiny things and I'm, I'm just in gratitude. <laughs> I'm just happy about the whole thing. You know how lucky, how lucky. It was so overwhelmingly incredible and beautiful that I had tears falling down my face. Harold, I got a, a few mushrooms. Yeah. There's a mushroom in my bedroom. There's a mushroom in my lounge room. There's a mushroom in my bathroom. And a lovely fragrance in the air. New from Arizona. This cute little mushroom works like magic to leave the air clean and fresh for up to 30 days and comes in three magic fragrances. Magic mushrooms and a lovely fragrance in the air. New from Arizona. Once again, I recommend a healthy dose of uh, psilocybin mushrooms. <laughs> Three weeks ago, two of my friends and I went to a ranch in Fredericksburg, Texas and took what Terrence McKenna calls a heroic dose. <laughs> you know what happened when I took them? I laid in a field of green grass for four hours going, my God, I love everything. <laughs> The heavens parted, God looked down and rained gifts of forgiveness onto my being, healing me on every level, psychically, physically, emotionally. And I realized our true nature is spirit, not body, that we are eternal beings, and God's love is unconditional. There's nothing we can ever do to change that. It is only our illusion that we are separate from God or that we are alone. In fact... The reality is, we are one with God and He loves us. Unconditional love and respect for everyone, which is the core of this experience, for everyone, isn't always adaptive for personal survival. I think Jesus Christ, Gandhi, or other, other people who have been persecuted for holding such worldviews. It seems to me that there's a great mystery embedded within human consciousness. A mystery that I think that we're all aware of at some fundamental, even primitive level, having something to do with this quest to understand who we are, the essence of life, perhaps with this deep knowing that at some level we're all in this together. Excitingly, it appears that systematic work investigating these mystical type experiences may provide unique information about the mechanisms, both biological and otherwise, underlying human moral and ethical behavior, knowledge that I believe may ultimately be critical to the survival of the human species. 
Psilocybin is the principal psychoactive component of the psilocybe uh, genus of mushroom. And this is uh, the so-called magic mushroom. Psilocybin in the form of these mushrooms have been used for hundreds, possibly thousands of years in, uh, in various cultures and structured manners for religious purposes. What I want to tell you about today is some research that demonstrates that psilocybin can occasion a very high probability mystical type experiences that appear virtually identical to naturally occurring mystical experiences reported by mystics throughout the ages uh, and uh, across different cultures. The mushrooms are a powerful medicine. Western medicine and pills have failed us. The Mazatecan people know only one medicine, and that medicine knows all, reveals all, and cures all. That medicine is the mushroom medicine. Over millennia, the ancient Mazatec people had long cultivated a shamanic healing rite, using a visionary mushroom to seek the divine. Named the Nindi Shito, for the little ones who spring forth. The Mazatec shaman and healer use the power of this mushroom to speak to deities of the underworld and to seek advice on ailments affecting the physical, emotional, and spiritual. The strong sense of the interconnectedness of all people and things, a sense that all is one, sometimes experienced as pure consciousness. And that's accompanied by a sense of sacredness, this uh, noetic quality, uh, the sense that what is being experienced is more true and more real than everyday reality, a sense of deeply felt positive mood, love, or peace, transcendence of time and space, and the sense that the experience cannot be adequately described in words. Well, I'm here to tell you that shamanistic cultures for thousands of years have been using these plant entheogens to produce the next generation of shamans. They use these plant entheogens in the womb. They use these plant entheogens when they're children. And all through their life, they're raised with these plant entheogens. And there is nothing, nothing wrong with that. We have access to things, chemicals, plants, that have all throughout human history been told that we've, we have direct access with God. Higher states of consciousness, and that's a key, higher states of consciousness. Expanded states of consciousness. Now what these things do is they, they open your brain into a different realm. They, ac they access multi-dimensional doorways. They create, create different neural pathways inside your electrochemical functioning of your brain. Thank you. 